What up, guys? Welcome to Game Dudu's channel. Today I received this little box. Let's unbox this gadget. Wow, I won't call it a gadget. It's huge. What is it? An MP4 player? A switch? Look at its interface. There are some building games. It seems like it can play some videos. There are two volume buttons down here. The display is not bad. The speakers are surrounding stereo. Then play some music. Huh, impressive bass. We'll test out some games to prove this is not merely an MP4 player. Start with Tekken, cause it's the only PS1 game in my TF card. It adopts dual switch analog sticks in likes of RG350. It's wrapped by rubbers. Your thumbs can hold onto its surface and won't slip from it. It's pretty convenient and flexible to have them when playing PS1 titles. Yes, Q900 has two stereo speakers and with a reliably good stereo effect. Only when your ears grow on your fingers. With your fingers covering the speakers, it sounds stuffy. I got drifted away when I played shooting games on this machine, literally. D-pad makes me do it. Why you do this to me? I can't get hold of my own life, nor can I be in charge of my games. With a big screen crawling up the device like this, I would find the control board more comfortable if they make it broader. Players with big hands might have gripes with it. The buttons and analogs seem to fill up the board in the current size. When playing Adventure Island, you will notice a slight screen tearing. It's not so obnoxious. I can live with that. What bothers me is, I think this is an LCD screen or something like that. Because, as you can see, when I turn to an angle like this, the screen turns out to be unrecognizable. So does this angle. I have to shoot this video under dark circumstances to show the screen. It can only be viewed from a certain angle and is completely black from other angles. Just like me, I look alive, but I'm dead inside. Compare it to my Pocket Go. It's a 2.4 inches IPS screen with 320 multiplies 240 resolution. But you will notice on Pocket Go it's brighter, more saturated and clear, though with pixels. I'm really confused about Q900's resolution. It should be 1080 multiply 680, but the pictures are stretched and blurred. Long story short, you can spend $80 to own a Switch size Q900 with moderate game performance. You won't be expecting a Switch performance at this price. If you enjoy the big screen, this can be a really good choice. It seems like Chinese handheld manufacturers always want to pursue an extreme to the make sense. However, is it the bigger the better? Comment below to share your views. Thanks for watching and see you next time.